Uh, give me a stealth check. Stealth that horse. Let's see if they notice it. I put this. Mm, it's it's going to have a And there is... Oh! oh. And one. <laughs> I doubt it. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> I probably should have looked at the number before I tried to find it. Right. You realize there's no place to hide your horse. No! Ah! In the immediate vicinity. I ride up on these people on my horse, though. Okay, so you mount and head their way. Huh. Yeah, why not? We're going to retro it. As you're approaching, you hear her beats, and a man huh. rides up. Right up to you. There's two women. Huh? One appears to be Asian, Chinese, Hold on. wearing blue. Well, that's, here in a, that's weird around these parts, right? In a braid. Um, yeah, well, mm, yeah, it's a little unusual. Outside Chinatown or working on the railroad. Oh, you said I'm still in San Fran, right? Around, around about? Uh, west. About 20 miles west. Gotcha. East, east of San Francisco. But California. Yes, you're still in California. Okay. Southern California. Or okay. Central California. She's with a woman who is wearing... Yeah. Very nice pants. clothes. Yes. <laughs> pants. Pants. Yeah. That's right. Nice, but obvious, but not a, not a skirt, a dress, or anything like that. Um, the Chinese lady is wearing a short short skirt. Brighter dress. Yeah. Uh, Not the knees. Okay. Jack West is there. Oh. Walking with him, and so is Otto Lambert. <laughs> Lambert Otto. Yeah, yeah okay. I, I noticed these two back. guys, so I don't even uh, worry no. about having them realize. Like, no. That's okay. <laughs> um, um, yeah. They are walking through the woods in the exact direction of where the horses that you just found, just behind you, maybe 50 yards behind you are. You see a man ride up. Um, everybody can describe themselves if you want to describe themselves differently from how I did. Um, so this man looks like what? Huh? You have oh, a mustache. Yeah. What does he look like? But you have a mustache? Oh, oh yeah, actually. wait. Find the picture. Yeah. He's got a mustache, he's got a badge. Sure. You recognize it as, it looks like uh, he's either some kind of a local, well, he's a law enforcement of some kind. It's definitely a badge. Once you get a little closer look, you'll get more information. Um, it's a star. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, he's on a horse. Uh, do you have a rifle with you? Absolutely. So on my what kind of rifle is there? It's on your back? Yeah, it's the uh, Winchester you're Oh, okay. You don't have like a saddle? Sorry? A saddle sheet? Yeah, what? put it like. <laughs> oh, I got on my back. Alright, he's got a Winchester strapped to his back and a six gun on his belt. Off the horse on the uh, he's wearing a hat, uh, like a cowboy western type hat. Uh, are you wearing a duster too? That's good. Everybody. Uh, but he's definitely a lawman. Or impersonating one. He's forced. Well, he's got a badge. Oh, wait. You have it in, like, files or something, don't you? It's in photos. It's in photos? Photos in the, uh... In the oh, I forgot about that. I, I would literally, there. like... I'd look up the picture again. There's a now. Nah, look at albums. <laughs> Unless it orders it really weird. I know. He's got a mustache, dark hair. Big mustache. Oh, wait, your NPC. That's not those. I'm sorry. I just do a better job if I just show you the picture. I can't describe myself. Is that it? I don't know. I found it. So that's who you're looking at. Same color hat? Yeah. Oh, no. It was him. He took it. White hat. Oh, white hat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> okay. Whoopsie. So he rides up to you guys. Right? Yes. Are we looking for a guy with a white hat? <laughs> Just say out loud. Okay. I thought the good Marshall was involved in that. Good Marshall? I've never heard those two words. Oh, you whip it out? Okay. Whip it out? out? Um... <laughs> Jack West ignores you, and once he recognizes you... No, I said, hey! Oh, okay. Yeah, he Wait, pulls out what looks like a piece of leather, unwraps it. Have a look at this. I haven't um, seen this man for like two weeks, and he just like immediately just goes in, hey, look at this. <laughs> Apparently, Jack yes. West. Classic Jack West. Jack West. Classic Jack West. <laughs> <laughs> the world is all going to die. Okay, I'm looking at whatever it is, I guess. <laughs> it appears to be a, um, it is a golden rod about a foot and a half long, maybe this wide. At the end of it is a silver spike that yeah. you recognize. It looks like one of those spikes that was sticking out of the crescent when you saw it back in Arizona six months ago. Okay. And he holds it up like this, and it kind of moves in his hand to point almost due east towards Mount Diablo. So it does turn in his hand? Slightly. Not a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it needs to open it up and open oh, yeah. it out. Apparently it's so. Strange fellows were saying this is your dad's that he wanted you to have. Gerhardt's in the middle. Don't look at me. He's telling you this in character. Is going <laughs> Did you want a gold metal rod with a silver tip? I didn't until I saw it for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get me one. 
Any character. You, my father. What are you? What are you talking about? Some like three men uh, outside the village of Far on their own little property um, called themselves the Gerharts. Right, the bell at all. They seem averse to silver too. Very strange. Has been a while since I have played, so should I say yes? To Never heard of any Gerharts. No, I don't know what you're <laughs> talking about. Well, they claim to know your had to know your father. So we should give them a good stop by later. One of them right. seems like one of your fans. Yes. How about first, before we start talking about random men who know my father and you turning a rod in your hand towards east, I guess. Where that right? That's, That's where, where the pointing. silver was pointing. No. Okay. And high on the point. Remember? <laughs> Uh, silver is pointing uh, back the way you came. Oh yeah, silver's east or west. Silver's west. So, yeah. Before we get into that little adventure, who are these two individuals? Where are the I other two? Oh gosh, hi! Thank you oh. for recognizing <laughs> us women. We appreciate it. Not important. <laughs> oh, <laughs> because here I'm we go again. Jack West. Jack West. What a dick. I, um, this yeah. one has no friends. So I'm going to just, like, part by part. First of all, who are these people? So, I, they can introduce I just themselves they want. walk up to him and say, Hi, I'm Emerald. Hi, nice to meet you, Clayton Pierce. She's not really a gem. And you? Says <laughs> <laughs> <Just> you. <laughs> wow. My name is Joanna. Joanna, nice to meet you. Nice Clayton Pierce, I'm a better remark. Um, Clayton Pierce, make me, uh... <laughs> you make me roll four times in a row. Make me a no time. Good. A what? No. Uh, your education. <laughs> yes, barely. Uh, boom. Nice. Troublemaker. Really? She's a suffragette. What does that mean? Uh, women who want to vote and they're clearly protests <laughs> and uh, they <laughs> cause trouble. We think that never... it's okay for everyone to be equal. <laughs> exactly. You've never had any personal problems with her, but you do recognize her from uh, pictures of being a suffragette and basically they... They cause problems, so, oh, but in big cities. 100% the feminists at the time. Yeah, <laughs> essentially, essentially. So my question they is... They want women to be able to vote. As a federal marshal, is it up to my own personality how I feel about her? Yes. Am I like... It's basically, I'm a federal marshal, like we just have to be enemies now. No, 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 you don't have to be enemies. Oh, okay. Uh, this is what you've been told, is she is a troublemaker, and she is a rich and powerful troublemaker. Uh, she's been um, helping us out. <laughs> okay, so right uh, now that I know who she is, right? Yes, you shake hands her. with Emerald. You said your name was Joanna. Joanna. Yes. I shake her hand like I did, and I right. on that part out. I'll be like, nice pants. Okay, <laughs> that's fair. I'll, I'll let her know that I noticed the pants, but I'm gonna also like it's a compliment, but it's also like I know who you are, sort of. And I'm gonna, like a spin on that, like <laughs> nice pants, and I kind of look at her. Like, yeah, you can do that. I didn't mean to wink. No, I didn't mean to wink. It's kind of like one of those like nice pants. like a strong. It's like, it's like a nod. Head. It's like a nod. Yeah, turn of the head. Yeah, I'm about Joanna to get that information. He kind of you think that he knows who you are. You can see a wink if yeah. you want a wink. <laughs> Sorry. But I didn't wink. Definitely not my type. With your, uh, <laughs> with, <laughs> with your wealth, you are pretty influential in the organization or the movement. So, yes, it's not surprising that a lawman would recognize you. Okay. So I just say, thanks. Now that we got that, well, no, second question is now, what are you two ladies doing with a man like Jack West? <laughs> Yeah. For him. <laughs> Otto, I can understand. Otto's a good man. No. <laughs> Thank you. Jack West. I, that's, I think that's the first compliment I've got. <laughs> <laughs> How do you respond to that? No. Does he say that in character? Yeah, I do. Oh, oh. That in character and out of character. Oh, in character. <laughs> it's in the game and real. <laughs> I can play both at the same time. <laughs> one tier. No, one tier. It's just so <laughs> Anyway. Because I know Jack West as a... Well, actually, I know both of these gentlemen as bounty hunting men who only like money. So are you two in it for the money? I, I was not aware there was money. <laughs> <laughs> we still don't know why she's here. She just kind of showed up. But to, I told it to Willard. Good friend. Okay. I'm here to help my friend. About her... Okay. Can I like pull on the side? Do yes. <laughs> so I have to be pulled aside right now? It's up to John. Well, it's when I, I actually I smile there because I, I know I know she was following us, and I know that 
Yeah, he's freaking, <laughs> freaking out and paranoid about it, so I'm just like, yes. <laughs> oh my god. You should have been talking the whole time. I bet she's trying to kill you. She's an assassin. <laughs> oh, dang it. I should have. I bet you should kill him. You should kill him. I bet you don't know what's under the dress. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Surprise! Right, 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 right. That was me being bad. I'm not a character. All right, so do you want to take him aside immediately? I'll wait until we're done. Just determine when. Yeah. So keep going. So, so everyone here is looking for Terwilliger. I'm doing guys a favor for helping me out. There might be money. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was kind of up in the air when <laughs> how she explained. <laughs> to be honest, I think he's after one of those lightning guns as a reward. <laughs> so I wait. So I'm sent by the government. Virtual Williger, right? Like, I didn't just go talk to Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. The local sheriff's office and stuff haven't been able to find anything. You yes. showed up. They're like, oh. look, this guy's been kidnapped. If you, uh, if you can help us, please help us. And so you've been meticulously the last week or so, probably, searching the area very slowly. So is there a reward on my side of things? No. No ransom has been demanded it yet. If there's any reward, it would have to come from the Twilligers, from... Um, you know he has a daughter named Matilda. You haven't met her. Right. And, or from Twilliger itself once he's rescued. Okay. And now he showed up with this thing. Nothing else. This rod or whatever it is. From that guy might be pretty good. Now he's got this rod that he says belongs to that and talking about your dad. I feel like it's pointing actually what I'd be able to put two and two together with pointing at the crescent. Uh if you want, yes. I feel like this might be pointing us towards the crescent. Which is probably where they would take to Willigar. You have seen the crescent. When you shot down oh, yeah, the yeah. train, he was holding it in his hands, and he shot out of the train. train in the middle of the ravine. Yeah. So you have seen it. It could be connected to us. Which means they might have... What's the guy's name? John? You guys haven't heard of it yet. So yes, John? It's up to them. To Andrew? Is that the guy you're hunting? Who's the guy that I shot? Parker. Jack Parker. Which means Jack Parker might be there. Would any of you like to fill us in, please? We're just a little slow being women. <laughs> The crescent or She's not wrong. Jack. <laughs> oh, no. oh my god. I will explain seeing how <laughs> You can tell her out of character and you can yeah. just summarize. If you what, are, how? what are we yeah, can or, you can you summarize at least the crescent do part? This? Yeah. Here's what he tells you. About six months ago. He was in a town called Yellow Flats. <laughs> he heard about this crescent that was found in the ground. So like actually like a crescent, like yes. a moon shape? Yeah. It's like a big thing? new moon shape thing with some spikes sticking out of it, is how he would describe it. Um, he managed, he and another person managed to actually get a chance to see it. It was being protected by the army. It was apparently found in this mine in, in rock that was 50 million years old. Uh, several of the scientists who had been there, Terwilliger was one of the scientists there working on it, as well as uh, a Dr. Beiswald, who was a, a physician, essentially, who ended up uh, as part of that team for a short while. And um, apparently some of the scientists who were studying it, like, vanished. According to the rumors that he heard, when it was first found by the miners, some of them touched it. Uh, it was actually being mined by prisoners from California for some reason. Uh, that has never actually been explained. But when they, when some of them touched it, they were able to rip their shackles off and escape or disappear. Several piles of like ash were found near it. That has not been explained either. Um, they dealt with some stuff out in Arizona. It was apparently not, not didn't have anything to do with the crescent. The government took the crescent uh, to, Cal to Los Angeles, and then on a train to uh, to San Francisco, where it was going to be further studied. It was hide the train was attacked by what they think was John Valentine's men. And monsters. And, oh, oh my god, okay, and Hands. dragons. <laughs> dragons. <laughs> apparently, one of which mauled him almost to death. He was barely saved by some Pinkerton agents. And, um... I got a lift now. Yes, he has a terrible, uh, no. Isn't your left arm all fucked? Your left arm is all fucked up, is what you did. Arm. Yeah. It's my arm, not my arm. You notice that his arm, and you notice, he says that his arm is badly injured, and you notice that, that he holds his arm in a certain way, that apparently it's not as useful as it used to be. Uh, during uh, one man managed to get a hold of the crescent named Jack Parker, uh, from what he heard, because he had been really badly mauled by then, uh, who was shot off the train by uh, James, uh, not James West, because that's <laughs> Wild Wild West, uh, by uh, Jack West. Also, over, when they're passing over a gorge. Tell this story that he stole my vengeance. <laughs> 
Can you explain why? Because Jack Parker killed my son. There you go. She mentions that too. I'm um, very sorry. I am as well. <laughs> <laughs> Preston was apparently lost at that point. That's the last that you have heard from or Can dealt I with. Tell him what yes. happened in Devil's Gulch? Oh, yes, please do. Can you summarize the. <laughs> 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 Can I tell him? Can you do it? Otto basically says a month ago, or two weeks ago, they were in Devil's Gulch. We're going to take a break. Dealing with uh, you talk for a let me punch you. <laughs> dealing with some weirdness that was going on there, including some kind of a ancient temple, some drifters, and some thing. Anyway, that's beside the point. One of their number was badly injured, stabbed by John Valentine several times, and lying upon her death when she was. She told Otto. Otto ran to get help. He found her after he. Chop down some other person. Um, basically, she w- he left her there because he couldn't help her. He didn't he didn't have the medicine to help her. He ran away to or he ran to find help to get their doctor, Doctor Weisfeld, again. Um, when they returned, she was fine, no injuries at all. And later on, she told them that a woman had appeared with the crescent and told her to pull out one to pull on one of the spikes, which pulled a rod out and touched the wounds. At which point. She was completely hit. And I recognized the woman as being the gypsy. There was a gypsy in town um, at that time. When they went to look for this gypsy woman, she was gone. So wait, when he described the rod she pulled out... Is it he didn't see it. Okay. That is what um, Gemma Jones said happened. Okay. He's, you're getting second hand from him what actually happened to her. Plain telephone. She thinks that that woman was God. That's what she told them. The woman that God visited her I and saved her life. I don't believe in myself. That's fine, but that's what she that's said. Perfect. And you can, you can mention that. Because that means God's a woman. Right? Hey. <laughs> Did you have any doubt? Never believed in anything else. Anyway, so what, what was your religion? Um, Fagels. Oh, ah, okay, so no religion, okay. Anyway, so this is all the, this is the information dump that you guys get about this question. You've never heard of it. Um, if the government took control of it, like they say, it's then probably, yeah, that's why it never made the papers anything like that. And it never made it to San Francisco anyway, so... Especially the fact that we've lost it. The government's definitely might be like, government failed, whoops. The government and I think, did nothing. <laughs> about. No. I think that's all the information there is. So apparently, whatever this rod is, has something to do with it. Hey, be nice. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, neighbor, neighbor dog. Neighbor dog. Hope, are you hungry? Do you want supper? It's okay, it's okay. Shh. Shh. They bark, she bark, they bark, she bark, they bark. Never ends. I never end. I heard it more once. One time that we played, when I had her next door, obviously, started barking. Hey, oh, she went a little crazy. She doesn't like to be picked up, I'll tell you that, anymore. It annoys her. She won't do anything about it, but she's like, I hate it. It's not my fault. Alright, so, there you go. There's the information dumps. Yeah. Okay. That's that's something I wanted to know, too. Oh my gosh, this this is a lot. You guys have gotten a ton of information about the entirety of the campaign at this point. Yeah, my first question would be, why do you trust us so much? Why are you telling us all this? I mean, I appreciate it. I don't care. (laughs) <laughs> what do you do? So he says he doesn't care. Uh, based on what we've had to deal with uh, on these adventures, I want you to know those perils that you could be possibly facing. I know it sounds crazy when I say dragons and snake people, and there was some, it'll be a fun surprise. Just leave it. <laughs> some, there was a dinosaur that I didn't see, but they did. One time. There were good stories about that. Yeah. And I thought they were crazy, but I saw the bones. So. Skull. Um, yeah. Skull. I don't know how to say this uh, lightly, oh. sir, but to them, it seems like they would have been taking drugs. Oh. And you, you being an upstanding lawman, do you partake in drugs as well? <laughs> <laughs> I promise I do not take drugs and. Though this may seem like a drug fueled story, <laughs> <laughs> drinks in front of y'all. <laughs> uh, it is it is not in the least bit. I do not know what this world is becoming, but I do not like where it is headed. Well, because we've now heard three people tell us stories, I'm willing to give it at least the benefit of the doubt. 
Oh no, still not believe. It's more fun that way. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, do you have the means to defend yourselves? I'd like to pull the knife from my <laughs> skirt or okay. dress. Do you want to describe how that happens? Uh, I just pull my skirt up, or the end of my dress up a little bit, and pull the dagger out. Can I say not interested? What kind of dagger? I have one. Is it Arkansas toothpick? Yeah. Okay, it's one of those Arkansas toothpicks. The ones that come to a point, they're nasty. Nasty. They're big, right? Um, it's not as big as a Bowie knife. Bowie knife is, like, massive. It's it's smaller than a Bowie knife, but yeah, it's a nasty knife. You can fuck somebody. kill you. Good. That's what she does. Anything else? I'll just do that. Okay. And I like to think I can defend myself with my sparkling <laughs> charm. <laughs> we have not tried to charm the dragons yet, so hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably offer one of my peacemakers. Oh. oh. Well, I personally would I prefer not to use them. <laughs> They're too violent. Your funeral. <laughs> Don't worry, we need to protect ourselves. <laughs> Oh, God, I don't know. So are you like against you <laughs> trying to give me that golden rod, Jack was? Yeah, but uh, it looks like it also does point to. Hopefully, it's this fat in that points <laughs> to the crescent. <laughs> That's what we've been I've following. seen the crescent. Yes. Do I recognize this as a part of the crescent? It looks like the silver tip on one end looks like one of the spikes that stick out. Remember, it had several spikes sticking out of it. It sounds yeah. I kind of. Can I kind of like? Have you, you actually it? touched it at all, or you got the leather? And I touched it when I was. Okay, okay. No, I'm saying. Gotcha. Okay. Can you wince when you? Yeah, you can. Yeah, because I mean, I don't know what this. It thing smells does. like ozone. It's like a smell like. If you've oh, been here, yeah, ozone smells like. If you've been here, like a lightning strike, it's got uh, an electric okay. smell to it. It's weird. And it's electric smell. Yeah. That's how I'm gonna start describing myself. Electric smell. <laughs> <going>. <laughs> You know that smell. You I like it away from it. Yeah, I like smell so like, the, I'm about to die. I turn it away from where it normally has been pointing on purpose. Like right, it's, it's it, in my hand. When you when you hold it, so it's you know barely like so it's free. It does kind of it kind of it goes that way. It turns towards the east. It actually seems to be pointing towards Mount Diablo, which is a mountain you can see from San Francisco. Okay, now that I know that wasn't just stupid Jack West magic tree. Um, <laughs> classic Jack West magic. <laughs> oh my god. And you're going to tell me that we should follow where this rod is pointing. I feel like we're like the opposite straight way to where we need to be. Over my expert so tracking skills, do. you want to trust a golden rod. You don't? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Give this to Jack West. You don't? <laughs> Why do you have five points? <laughs> yeah, dude. Because he's like the king of the one liner. He's funny in character. I used to never get coins, <laughs> but now I always do. <laughs> you found your stick. Yeah. Because you're in character. You're in character. <laughs> well, Sexist. considering I have not found anything with my expert tracking skills, I will follow a golden rod with Jack West. And company. Yes, and company. <laughs> and friends. Friends. <laughs> yeah, this <little>. term. <laughs> Friends is a little bit of a stretch. So you guys are going to continue east? I yeah. will, um... Uh, you we, must take him aside. Yeah, okay. As we start naming on, I, like... As we go with our chat. Just okay. party. <laughs> so, um, you guys start heading east. Out of Fulls, uh... Fulls, um... Did you guys ever learn his name? Yeah, quite the Pierce. Okay. Fulls, uh, Marshall Pierce well. aside. <laughs> then go ahead. What do you want to tell him? We're trying to get the gold rod. So oh, uh, let's do spot in from you guys to see if you notice out of Fulls aside. Oh, that. Fair enough. I wouldn't care. You I would see it. But you see like, it, but you don't care. Okay, you're just like, yeah. No. You know. Fuck. No? Okay, so none of you really kind of no, notice it. You're, 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 you're heading. Yeah, so, yeah, go ahead. Know. What do you want to say to him? Keep going. Now, Marshall. I don't trust that Chinese woman. That's <laughs> incredibly racist, though. I like to, like, just laugh out really loud like she just told me a joke. <laughs> okay, yeah. They're they're pretty far away. There's no way they could over here. But two laughs around the same time that you say that. Wait, am I awake? <laughs> Still probably close to the same. Should be laugh. arguing with you. Uh, no, no, no. Probably. These two are chatting as they're going. It's not like you need to know how to make a proper sound. No. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just kidding. Stop. Stop. That's not the character. That's yours. I like the laughter during. It does nerves me a little. Okay. Um. 
realize that it may seem that way, but do you know what happened in Chinatown? Well, yeah. mm-hmm. no, 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 it, it doesn't seem racist, though. If you <laughs> called her a Chinese girl instead of saying her name, you clearly should know by now. <laughs> Emerald. Wow. There we go. It's, it's pretty progressive. <laughs> okay. I, like I didn't think hand. about it that way, Marshall. I'm sorry. Emerald, I don't trust you. Know. Okay. I'm not racist, and I don't realize it either. <laughs> but well, anyway, sorry. you don't trust Emerald. Well, well, do you know what happened in China now? Does he know? Am I going to have to do another summary? I'll, here? I'll summarize it for him if he doesn't know. No, I don't know what happened in China. Well, I don't there. know. Yeah. Other characters. Yeah. You don't have to no, okay. specifically summarize it to me, though, no, because I played a character that was there. No, I don't, I don't know what happened in Chinatown. And then you tell me what happened in Chinatown. What does he know about what happened with the Kongs and me killing, sin, shooting the demon and his life, crying no, to rage, and then oh, I was shooting uh, yeah. about him. Yeah, and shooting that guy in the in the brothel. No, I stabbed him. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Sorry, stabbed him. Yeah. Okay. So Kyle knows about that. Yeah. So yeah, you can tell him all about that. Yeah, you tell Pierce. Yeah, I tell Pierce, yeah. and then like so now Pierce is all so. Up. Okay. So when I came to that while Waldo was not here, but. Because you attacked him? No, he didn't attack Wallow. That oh, was a missed character? Uh, he attacked Deloitte. No, he chased Deloitte down. I kept on missing. And then he ran Deloitte led him into a brothel. Whereupon he shot one of the Tong members. Or he stabbed one of the Tong members in the brothel who came at him with an axe. He was like, get out of here! And he was like, I don't think so. And then I woke up from the rain. And he came to your senses and you ran away. Was that why she was not here right now? No. I don't know you guys have got to take me to see Deloitte is, uh... Uh, this isn't a real heavy, like, it's gonna fuck you around that wall. Okay, we're gonna die altogether. It was just so the scientific. Based on what you've told me, you're worried that Emerald might be one of the tongues. Yeah, well, oh, oh, yeah. oh, we came back to uh, uh, Oakland. Is that where you That's racist just because she's Chinese. Do <laughs> you think she's that Chinese family? Wait, is he saying that in front of us? No, 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 y'all can't okay. hear. No. She's, out, she's out of character. She's, she's just no so we, we got off the train in Oakland, right? Oakland, okay, correct. Yeah. Oakland so was across was the bay from San Francisco. So yeah. when I was in Oakland, just about when we were about to leave, I found a pocket, a, a note in my pocket that says the, what, what was this, showman? It's it was, the stonemen look for you. The showmen are looking for showmen. you. The showmen are looking for you. <laughs> I can't read The stonemen. <laughs> the stone the showmen are looking for you. <laughs> Meet us in Chinatown. And then... I swear, I was promising you should do that. <laughs> yeah, it's on the stage, right? <laughs> yeah. But as we were heading up towards Villager Farm, she was following us on foot behind us. Yes, yeah, because she is also looking for two villagers. See, that's what she says, but I don't believe her. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd just let you know. Okay. That's Are you I'm... asking me and Jack West for protection? No. I'm just letting you know. Okay. It's good to be informed about stuff that's going on. I mean, I, I have only met them today. Yeah. 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 I, I don't trust you, but I feel like I, I could handle it. Okay. Yeah. I, I do okay. want to do that. Julie, yeah. 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 just keep an eye on it. What thing you want to do? Just make him more paranoid. If you know, you know that he, did he tell you about being nervous about her? Oh no, I, I saw it though. Okay, if you saw it, then yes. If you want to mess with them, be like, you could bring back and be like, you know, a Chinese woman keeps like messing with her nice yeah, That's about. That is almost what I was going to say. <laughs> anyway, whatever you want to do, if you want to mess with people, yes, you can. It could be bad in the long run. Because Johnny tries to role play, and if he decides that she's going to try to kill him, I could see him shooting her in the back. No offense to you. <laughs> But he does do that. To be honest, ideas. it's not the first time. So, <laughs> it's not the first time. That's right. We've so, broken the shot someone in a pair. And, and I'll say this, I'll never well, do that. John that. plays this, John wants his character to survive as a player. Mm-hmm. And he's willing to do shit to, to make sure that he survives as a player. And I don't see it, that's not a bad thing. You've got to expect to die in this game and it's hard to live. But if, if his character thinks that you're out to kill him, I can see him doing some terrible, terrible things.